Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and this is a video that I could not wait to get over with, oh my god, because I keep printing this stuff. So recently, Raging Heroes put out a great set of samurai-inspired models, and I'm always in the market for new and interesting looking samurai type stuff, and when I saw these, I could not resist. I had to start printing these, uh, they just looked really elegant, really exciting, really dynamic, and really up my alley. So when I say that I could not wait to get this video over with, it's because I want to get to work on painting these. I mean, I'm not going to do a great job, but I mean, I was just really blown away by the quality of these releases. So that's just the base. I actually printed a few of the bases. That's a rarity for me. I didn't do a whole lot of cleanup here, but I just absolutely love this is their Shogun figure. Number one, the fact that I got it off of the print bed in one piece. That in and of itself was quite impressive, especially with the little sun crest there that's just kind of resting in between the two banner poles. And I really dug the fact that there was some really conscious thought effort put into how this guy was designed uh, with all the flowy bits and extra bling and, you know, thin pointy pieces everywhere with the exception of the oni horns uh, everything kind of touches on another piece to help kind of reinforce it i love that you know especially if you're not the most gentle with removing supports and stuff this there's a lot of opportunities for breakage but the fact that i got it off in one piece speaks volumes of the quality because I'll admit it, I, I manhandle these when I'm trying to get the supports off, and there has been many occasions where things have gotten broken or snapped off. And outside of one particular piece on almost the entire lineup at this point, I have printed an absolute pile of stuff here to show off. Uh, that was only a single piece that I can think of that broke. There was one slight misprint that I actually clipped off, and i got to go around to figuring out what I'm going to do with it, but that's another story. Uh, so why don't we take a look at some of the other models here. One of their Yokai Spirits. And again, just really impressive, the level of detail of what's going on with the figure. The flowy robes, the hair, everything twisting, bending, turning. A very cool sense of dynamicism. I didn't even break her fingers. That's that's impressive, her individual digits there. One issue I do have, and I've, I've lodged this complaint before with Raging Heroes, is a lot of times their multi-part figures or their bases with their intended designs, you can kind of see the imprint here, don't always match up. Uh, thankfully, for the most part, this release did not have much in the way of multi-part figures. So that really wasn't an issue. I can, at least so far, that I've printed at least all of the humanoid-sized models. That's not been a problem. That's way too bright and the light wants to play. Uh, here, might as well talk about the one model that I actually had to break. And that is the old master. Still cleaning a couple of support bits off there's just an awful lot going on with this model and it's not even actually complete he's got two little dragons hanging out with him piles of weapons all over his turtle which still needs to be cleaned up you can see there's a little support there on his pipe in his hand the second dragon sitting there lots of details to paint so here you can see there's a little notch and here is the extra part, his little canopy. And here is where a extra little bit of these decorative balls hanging off in the tassels broke. And I don't know where I put it. That is the only piece so far that I am aware of breaking while removing. So he's got like his little fun medicine chest traveling merchant type thing. Fun little model. It's also got one of the larger bases. It's about a 60. Most of the heroes, at least these two heroes right here, are on 40 millimeter bases. Let's see, what do we want to show off next? Ah, speaking of large bases, this is a 50 millimeter base for the Empress. 
Empress Kaguya, I think was her name. I could be wrong. I know it was the Empress. But again, single piece sculpt, which is pretty impressive. Even my wife raised a few eyebrows to, you really are going to be able to pull that all off on what, yep. Fun, complex sculpt. I have absolutely no clue how I'm going to paint a lot of this. Uh, the fact that I printed so many of the actual bases included, definitely going to have to get a good scheme going on there. Now I did print out, this is one of the very few times I think I've actually gone from one of the lower tiered pledges and upped it to grab a bunch more of the extra models. We'll get to that. Here is the Spirit Rodin. Again, this was a single piece. I was quite impressed with, again, the flowy robes. The smoke lanterns floating around her. There's a hatless version on Heroes Infinite, the website Raging Heroes has for their STL files if you don't want to go through Patreon. Personally, I prefer Patreon, but that's just me. But there are some temptations there, gotta say. Alright, what else we got? We got ninjas somewhere, I'm trying to find them. I know I have them. Ooh, here we have one of them. I think all the ninjas are wearing masks, or at least half masks. And I'm posed on top of a Maker's Colt base here. I think it would look cooler with a larger base on there for them. And so one of the reasons I wanted to up it was because none of the archers were available in the lower pledges. And again, these were all single piece. I was quite impressed with the bow attached to the banner. Everything kind of works out well. Hand touching the sword. Sword here against the rest of the yukata. Looks nice. Definitely look nice. The troops are all on 32 millimeter bases. If you're interested in those. Be aware these are going to be quite large figures. I will warn you now. Another one of the upper tier samurai models. I mean when you get them up against You know, <laughs> they're pretty big. I don't think they're going to scale well with a lot of stuff outside of like Bushido. If you're familiar with GCT Studios line. Another fun ninja sculpt. What's even crazier is this thing can balance on its own. Consider me impressed. Consider me even more impressed when I grabbed one of the Oni, which honestly and truly that's one of the things I was really after. They're big. But you know, Oni should be big. I mean, these guys were labeled as ogres. Most of them were hollow. This guy is not. And the fact that he actually can pose on that base and not topple over, I am impressed. I got about the demon samurai here. His oni mask. Again, leaping up out of the air. Works quite well on that base. He's just blue tacked on there. 40 millimeter base. He's quite tall. A couple of the other oni. This guy is not going to stand. Uh, this one, I'm not sure what they were thinking. He's just. Yeah, uh, I'm going to cheat, and when I'm ready, I already went ahead, and you can see I've drilled a hole for a pin, and you can see the holes for where he has been hollowed out. I'm not too sure about the locations of the hollowed spots that Rage and Heroes put in there. They're kind of awkward and strange, I thought, but that's just my opinion. I'll show you why. Grabbing another model, trying to figure out which base he was supposed to be on, because I can't recall. There we go. The Raijin model. 
That is a 50 millimeter base here. Surprisingly, he was not hollow. And again, very excellent detail, even on my sad little frozen Sonic Mini. Able to get that. And then check out this. This was their big Oni boss. I was like, wow. Yeah. Way too many flags. I dig that. Giant club. I dig that. A little short. A little gorilla-like in stance, but I, I can dig that. This guy was also one of the few multi-part models. And, I mean, it, it, it obviously, if you want to put some resin in there and cure it, that is absolutely a way to go about doing it. Personally, I am I am just super excited to get these guys painted. I think if you dig the theme, I think this is a great release. Um, obviously, there is a bunch of terrain and stuff. I haven't even touched the actual monsters. There's the typical Kirin. There's the giant dragon. There's the Kitsune. There's the castle stuff that they put out. There is a lot on offer here, and I mean... Like I said, I don't usually go ahead and print everything or even this much from a single Patreon at once, but I was just like, this is exactly what I wanted. And I really dig the style. I mean, there's some other Patreons that have put out samurai-related theme models before, and they're nice, you know, they're legit nice, but this has style and I think style when I think of Raging Heroes anyway I tend to think of very stylish models and I think that is very much a choice that they go with and sometimes it works for me and sometimes it doesn't uh, but this time it absolutely does and the more I look at this and the more I see all these swirly robes and hair and everything I can't help but think I really want to see these guys do a Chinese fantasy wuxia style set. I think that would look absolutely fantastic. You know, you have a bunch of Wudong swordsmen flying around, you know, Taoist priests and some Jiangxi guys. I think Raging Heroes would knock it out of the park, especially just with the stylish female warriors, dudes in kung fu poses. I think, oh, here's a dude in a kung fu pose. One of the other ninjas that I forgot about. There's actually one more ninja, so I'm trying to wrap things up here. This guy had a crazy weird bend in his sword. I clipped it off and I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with it. Worst case, I can just clip everything off and he's only holding one sword. It's an interesting pose though and there's black paint all over my finger, but that's okay. So yeah, uh, very awesome release. I'm gonna put the links down below for both Patreon and the Heroes Infinite page if you wanna take a look at that and get yourself some bonus versions of these models. And like I said, I think if you dig samurai stuff, I don't think you can go wrong here. Just a really, really solid release. So with that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.